Yeah, and we're yeah. back. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, special, special oh, guest. The most special guest. Listeners most and watchers, we brought on the most requested guest. The man. Oh. To the Ned Declassified Podcast Survival yes, Guide. Yes. Let's welcome Coconut Head himself, Rob Whee! Pinkston. Yay! Yes. Really Arguably. Yes, yes really you so. are. When you are say, an integral. Whenever. Yeah. When we say who should we bring us, on the pod, yeah. it's Coco. Coconut Head. Coco. Yeah, really Coco. Yeah, Coco. And out, <laughs> outside yeah. of anybody else asking about them, it's it's, it's you. you. No, no. It's you, you are an Rob. integral yes. part. Of, yes. am, am I him? Yeah. You're I'm him. him. Yep. He you him. are him. It's him. It's Timothy. It's Timothy. It's him. And now you and now you get to enter this strange vortex that I'm starting to refer to in my mind as the Ned's Declassified Regression Survival Guide. Yeah. Which is spiraling us reverting yeah. right back. Yeah. Yeah. To, the, to the energy oh, we would Beep boop beep boop boop boop. Yep. Oh, yep. Yo. That's all you did on the, on the I show, know. the entire time. Pretty much Every like time, oh, just poop poop beep beep. Yeah. 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 Every time the camera's cut, it was just like <laughs> 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 Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, we what they don't know is that the show is the most civilized part of what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't yeah. actually know how to speak English. No, not at all. No. We just sound like yep. things. Yeah. Yep. It's <laughs> actually so true. The fun that gets out on the show is just, that's like the tip of the iceberg. Oh, that's yeah. that's the most civilized, most yep. contained yep. Yep. our set ever was, oh, is yep. when we're saying lines. Oh, boy, and now we're here. Just I'm, no script. No script. No script. Oh, free, we got a free ball. Absolute chaos. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Hey Rob, what has your uh, life been like for twenty years after this? Yeah. Hey Devin, fill us up real quick, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, boy, <laughs> it's weird because like for everybody kidding. that's watching, like we just saw each other for the first time like moments ago. Yeah. Moments. And it's been years. Yeah. Years. Like years. Yeah. Man, years. It is so trippy like, to be around. With I know. You guys right now. I love that beard, man. Thank you. I like your beard. Your oh. beard is like a work of art. I mean, this thing. is like. This I, is like shrubbery. I almost feel like shrubbery. I'm going to get edge out of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, could, <laughs> could I get some beard love too and we'll and just leave Lindsay out of it? What the fuck, you guys? We like things about you too, right? What, what do you like about um, her, Rob? 20 years, man. She's, she ate some peanuts earlier. That was pretty cool. She did. That was cool, yeah, Lindsay. Know, I too like peanuts. It was pretty great, right? It was yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's strange, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it is strange. Uh, yeah, so I guess going back to what you are saying about where I've been... To like the long and short of it, I guess. Uh, after Ned's, continued the acting for a bit, kind of went uh, into some other acting roles. Uh, ended up working behind the scenes. I actually went to film school. Ooh. Um, yeah, I remember. I did go to film school, so I kind of dropped uh, out of acting for about three years while I went full time school. Um, it was kind of training me to be behind the scenes. Went behind the scenes, worked at a production company. From there, I went to Disney. Ooh. From Disney, I went freelance and I started going all over the place. Uh, I worked a lot with like Fortnite for a while, which oh was really gosh. awesome. Oh my gosh. I was working at the Fortnite World Cup in New York, which was like the Yo. craziest thing. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, now I work a lot with Riot Games and uh, we have a season of VCT Americas, which is the Valorant like competitive league in America. In Whoa. North America, South America, Brazil, everything. Uh, it's wild. It's basically nice. no, no. I'm it's so like about it. Like nerd I'm, central. Yeah, I nerd love awesome. gaming. I'm so yeah. into it, but like on a sport level. I know all yes. the words yeah. you're saying. Like, I know every like thing that you're referring to. But <laughs> I'm just like in awe, just because Rob is like doing something that like I don't know, like yeah. that you really like, right? And totally. And it was such a part of like growing up with you. Whenever gaming, we would come yeah. over, you know, you would be gaming. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember the Ann Luna incident? And Luna. Oh. <laughs> wow, I didn't know we were going straight to that. <laughs> we're going That's one of my favorite things ever. Please tell us <laughs> from your Okay, point. so remember World of Warcraft? Yeah. Okay, we were all playing World of Warcraft yeah. for like a second. And uh, basically I was in a like an early World of Warcraft like 40-man dungeon. So it's 40 people get together, they coordinate every week, like Thursday night, no matter what time zone you live in, and we live all over the planet, <laughs> people are like making time out of their lives to do this dungeon. And <laughs> I'm over at our mutual friend Chris's house, and we're getting kind of drunk. <laughs> and <laughs> Lindsay does not give an absolute flying shit about this game. Like, oh, sorry, can we swear on this? Yes. Because yes. sure. I already Absolutely. did it. Yes. You did it now. Okay, cool. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so Lindsay doesn't give a shit, and she's just getting progressively more drunk, which is making her more bold. <laughs> oh, no. The moment by moment. 
And I'm, Ugh, I'm like, part of the story. Yeah. and I'm <laughs> like, weird. I'm like aggressively like focusing on the game. Like I'm drinking with them, but I'm like, hey, guys, like yeah, this is in. hard. Like 40, 40 people have to com- conquer this, you know, monster. Yeah. And at one point we had this, uh, this guild leader named Ann Luna, who was this like Filipino woman. And yeah. she was probably like 20 years our senior. Like she was much older than us, like had children. She's all right. She's yeah. all right. It clearly yeah. meant something to Jesus. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, she w- she had this very thick like Filipino accent and she would always be like, you know, yelling at us like, you guys need to stay in line and like do this stuff. So at one point Lindsay gets on the headset and she's like, hey, Ann Luna. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a voice that has not been on the comms for like four ever. hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, or ever really. Yeah. And San Luna, t- it's immediate like it's like a dead silence. Everybody, it's a bunch of nerds, right? Yeah. We're all like socially awkward. So this like aggressive <laughs> statement comes out, and everybody <gasps> shuts up. And it's like forty people just get dead oh. silence, like oh. drop, hear a pin drop. And then Luna's can't. like, "Who was that?" <laughs> oh no. Okay, everyone, I am tracking your IPs. I'm going to find out where you live. And she goes like on a rant about it. She's like, I know who you are. I know who said it. And she's like, (laughs) Dang. I can't. Lindsay is just like. making me hot just thinking about it. (laughs) It was so freaking good. But basically, yeah. I'm just like. It was, it was a legendary know, you moment. Guys. I'm just like, Yeesh. did she <laughs> so send like, some police to your house or anything? How did, uh, or was she, yeah, she was bluffing? Yeah, she, she sick the bluffing. international police. Yeah, yeah. yeah. SWAT, SWAT shows yeah, up, yeah. kicks your door down. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, thankfully, uh, she did not have the ability to track our IPs through World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. Apparently, that's not a thing. Uh, <laughs> no. It's awesome. Yeah. It's only in the movies. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But yeah, besides uh, besides production stuff, I've been DJing and making music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah people don't know. You got Pinky. AJ Pinky. Dude, yeah, I love that logo, man. Pinkston. Thank you, thank you. Um, Pinky logo. Uh, but funny enough, full circle, Pinky was a nickname that was given to me by Carly, who played Missy Meany on the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, she, and, and you, actually. Both of you. So That's well, where Carly Pinky started came saying from? it, but then you Pinky. kind of followed suit, and yeah. then it just kind of stuck. Stu- yeah, Pinky. Nice. Yeah. Then, like, the parents Pinkston. started Pinky calling just that. got stuck in there. <laughs> just got <laughs> it. <laughs> Right in there. Right in there. It's actually very small and agile. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It fits in a lot of places. Get the wow. job done. Get the job done. <laughs> Kids, just nice. that's a tip from me. A tip. That's great. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. Use the right finger, mm-hmm. and it'll feel better. Not the left. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, oh. I love this. I love yeah. seeing that you got into DJing and like seeing your uh, posting about it. And do you go out and like play live? I do. I do. Yeah. Uh, I haven't recently, only because I've been so involved with all the Valorant video game stuff. Yeah. Um, I've been traveling a lot with them internationally. So like in February, I spent the entire month of February in Ireland working on that. So Dude. it's kind of hard to book because of this because you yeah. have to book in advance and things like that. And on the Valorant, you're filming, you're or you're like so I'm a producer, scenes, like producing yeah. the oh producing so, the show. Exactly, yeah. So I'm a producer specifically in the graphics department. So nice. whenever you see like you know in sports talk, like uh, if you see the scoreboard at the bottom of like a basketball game yeah. or the full screen that shows stats, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. any of those things are considered graphics. They're not yeah. video. Mm-hmm. Um, so I manage all that, and I also make all the like memes and stuff that we see on the show. Nice. So there's a lot of like ridiculous photoshops that happen in Valorant, um, and that's all me making them. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. So let's talk beards, right? Hey, yeah, right? Yeah, let's awesome, talk man. beard yes. health and ball health. Oh, that part, yes. that's something I need to. I've been neglecting ball <laughs> yeah. beard health. Yeah. Let's do it all, man. <laughs> Sponsored by Manscaped. Yeah, yeah. Are we? Yes. Spon- no, we're we're, we're, working, we're on working on it though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're working well, that's on exciting. it. If you do you want, want me to sponsor you guys? I I can donate like fifty cents a month or something. Pinky will donate. That's yeah. not yeah. enough. That's, he could join our Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, should join the Patreon with that. Should I join the Patreon? Should is he? This a, are we are we throwing? Are we doing a little uh, a little plug, <laughs> dude? Do you remember your gamer tag from like Halo back? Your panties X. Panties X. Panties. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. Hell yeah. Uh, How wow. did you remember that? I just remember oh, certain man. things. I just remember, man. So yeah. so it it happens on the show. Like since we've been reminiscing and rewatching, like yeah. it was so long ago. So there's so many memories we like don't have there's so much from the show Dude, so much happened in three years like we don't remember crazy. all yeah. of it i love the details that stick like yeah, japanti's x japanti's x yeah Dude, I, I, used to, I think people really enjoyed hearing like we got to share like how much we we got down on halo at lunch oh my God. Um, and how angry bully loomer kyle swan would get Dude, like, all of us, <laughs> the two of you were, like, the most nasty duo. Oh, I mean, yeah, we were killing, bro. Tell we were the swords. Tell them, the swords. Oh, oh, my God. God. Shoddy tell swords, them. yeah. See, Rob is still frustrated. Yep. Bro, we, we, we told them. Daniel and I would dominate. Oh, yeah. Everyone would get real pissed. Dynamic duo, <laughs> I, man. Like, it just, 
I, I <laughs> want to win so hard, and I just don't have it in me. It's Dang. <laughs> yeah. I, like, yeah. I, this is playing a bubbling up now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So you would be paired up with Kyle, Kyle a lot, lot then. Which yeah, was so like, the, oh, let's be honest. Kyle was like the worst of us. <laughs> uh, hey, but, I mean, but he had that energy and aggression, so you thought he was going to do a great job. There, so one of the, one of the, I, okay, so like, I'm getting old, right? And huh. one of the terms that I've learned recently about like Valorant and gaming is inting, which is like, I think it's like a League of Legends thing. Okay. Um, but inting is like when you like rage really hard and then you just start feeding. You just run in, run in, run in, and oh. die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And that's exactly what Kyle would do. Yeah, we just int yeah. super hard. Yeah, just getting Dang. angry that he's losing. So then you're just playing dumber because you're yeah. just trying to <laughs> yeah. get in there. I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll snipe um, him. <laughs> do, do you remember Daniel's uh, Halo catchphrase? Uh, what? Got him! Oh my god. Th well, then you started saying it, which made it even worse. Even worse, yeah. Holy hell. Damn, oh man. my god. Yeah. Got him, bro. Got him! And then oh. Kyle's just like. <laughs> <laughs> rage, rage quit. Um, but he wouldn't rage quit. He would int. Like, yeah, exactly. exactly. He would just Which lose. is kind of like a weird, like, like zen moment. Like, it's almost like he bathes in the rage, like the heat of the sun. Like, you get to the center of the storm, and it's just calm. Dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, Kyle had to, like, emotionally calm down after lunches, you know? Like, there's oh, yeah. there's some heat coming back into shooting. Oh, yeah. Um, Do you, have you seen or talked to Kyle recently? So he lives in, like, England. France? Or England now? Yeah, no, okay. West yeah, France. Yeah. yeah, and so, uh, He'll visit every, you know, kind of infrequently. Yeah. I saw him a, I guess it was almost a year ago at this time. Okay, tight. Nice. So, uh, man, I love that guy. Me yeah, too, man. Great. I saw him in, I think, December. He was, like, in town for one night. I saw him for, like, two hours. I don't think I had seen him in five or six years. It's like, mm. dude, he is a different looking person entirely. I mean, like, kind of. Kind of, I guess. Kind of. <laughs> in, in that, like, he grew the big beard. Yes. He wears the, like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like dragging Bye, right now. What's up? <laughs> he, wears, he wears the the transitions glasses, so sometimes he's got the shades on indoors. <laughs> oh dang! Wait, yeah. wait, the ones that come up like this? No, no, no the no, ones that, that like that like oh, change color. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like the most grandpa thing ever. He is such like an early grandpa. It's hilarious. Yeah, dang. I feel like he's the he most. He always has been though. The first time he had sex, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> the first time he had sex or we had sex? Yeah, wait. No, he. he I, oh, I heard we. I was like, no, no, no. You guys remember? He was like, eh, that's old hat. That's how I feel like Kyle went into it. Nobody else feels that. He, he's a Birkenstock guy. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Which I think yeah. says it all. Right? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, feels the I most consistent. Yeah. Even right? though he's done some crazy shit with his life, he feels like when I see him, I'm like, man, some things don't change, and that makes me feel good. Nice. Kyle's I, still Kyle. I really respect, like, he is so <laughs> sure of himself. Yeah. yeah. That is a man who, like, just. Belly hanging out, hairy, you know, don't give a shit. Yeah. And like, hell yeah, man. Yep. Like, dude, I love it. He's living a dope life. Yeah. When he came over, he showed me footage he shot of orca hunting humpback whale calves in Western Australia. Orca hunting humpback whale calves. calves. Which hey. for people who Three don't know, orca hunting humpback whale calves. So for people who don't know, he's a he's like a diver, underwater cinematographer. Yeah. Like he lives in the ocean. Yeah. And so yeah, these and films for the things. BBC. He, I yeah. mean, he's doing incredible shit. Yeah. It was yeah. wild. Um, yeah, he like showed me all that footage and then fell asleep on my couch. Nice. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, I love that guy. Me too. He, I think he and it's. I find it funny because he and I were literally rivals in the show. But mm. we are Homies. like the closest friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. That is a, that is a person I consider my brother easily. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Totally. Yeah, you guys all lived out too while filming. Like Daniel was in Long Beach. There was a chunk of us in LA, and Lindsay, Rob, and Kyle were out in Santa Clarita, mm -hmm. which uh, is outside of LA. Um, and yeah, I feel like there were like little pods of just like geography. So I feel like you yeah. guys hung and out more out there. and that facilitated. Now just let me strap in for the juicy bits. Ooh, uh -oh. juicy that facilitated bits. us smoking weed for the first time. Oh, that oh. Hill oh. Inside oh. Your house. out of an apple. Out of an apple. Yep. Classic. Yep. That's Dang. right. Yeah. Wow, this is some shit. Cause I we talked about smoked I smoked time. Daniel out for the Only first time. From the uh, you guys smoked for the first time. Uh, some special wow. stuff, dude. Wow, some man. special stuff. Wow. I remember sitting in the case, huh? right? Oh. Hey, <laughs> I totally fucked that up. I just went Yeah, no, hand. it's all good. <laughs> Sorry, the other hand was busy. <laughs> Sorry. I had to right. leave for half the yeah. podcast, so you're good. Sorry. So it, it's been weird rewatching because, like, little memories come back that have just been, like, locked away for a long time. And I know you haven't been rewatching, but do you have favorite nuggets from, from set? Do you have favorite 
I mean, I think about set. playing tag like daily. Mm. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. We, we had tag. that. So, like at the studio we worked at, we had that underground. Remember in the first season, yes. it was all underground. Like the mm. all the production tag was the best stuff. in the first yeah. season. Oh. So yeah, it was because like, we had a hallway, like a grid of hallways under the studio. Yeah. Right. So it was like literally directly below it, and you'd wow. go down the stairs, and then it was just dungeon. hallways, 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 and then we'd all turn off the lights and play yeah. tag mm. in at dark. full speed. Yeah. In the dark. <laughs> dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. Super dangerous. Running around oh, corners. Yeah. <laughs> I believe there were a few black eyes that happened yeah, that yeah, had to yeah. be yeah. patched with yep. makeup. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. For sure. But I love that we were so committed to it. We're like, you know, this is, you got to bleed for the yeah. art. Yeah. 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 The art. I was like, whatever you boys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whatever. When we were kids, it was so fun. I, uh, second season, I remember, second season, whatever we did physically always got shut down because yeah. someone fucked up. Like, oh, yeah. It got Kyle. fucked up. Dodgeball. We, we started with tag on the second yeah. season around that set, but we didn't have those hallways, so we were running around the set. And I think like a piece of equipment was still out, and someone knocked Bell, over yeah. a light. Oh and tripped shit! Over a light. Right, right, right. And right, then it was right. like, okay, guys, you can't, you can't play, play tag it. anymore. Right, right, right. So then we played like football outside, you and cut then your I knee like open. fell and cut my knee open, and they're like, right. you can't play that anymore. We started playing dodgeball, I think because of the dodgeball episode, mm. and then Michelle and we had the like Michelle set, right? and then in Michelle the Kim oh, got Evelyn Kwong, the yeah. character, she got blasted in the face oh, with a dodgeball being thrown by a <laughs> grown crew member. Like three days, and dude. no joke, she had the texture of the ball on her oh. face coming back from lunch. She had dude. like the imprint of the kickball, dude. and they were like, no more dodgeball. Oh man. So eventually we had to they had to give us foosball and hey. Something less physical. Purple Th tunnel. Yeah. Were there any yeah. other yeah. outside of Ned stuff that you had like a set that where you you know got something revoked? Because I definitely did. Oh, what? You know what? Revoked? revoked? Yeah, like uh, I, I shot this movie with Zac Efron like mm -hmm. years and years ago, and we were filming. Was at he this hot? He was so hot. I knew it. I knew it. And uh, he, we were shooting on this like golf course with, and it had like a hill. High that School went, Musical. No, I'm this is you know what's funny is this was before High School Musical and he had booked it while on the the shoot that we were on I and I was this. making fun of him I was like dude that's so lame a freaking musical, musical. right like, right, right. Dude, like okay ee, sing song good for you yeah. nerd and then the next thing I know it's like the thing that you. defines his life right. <laughs> oh, shit was it yeah. sets him up yeah. for the rest <laughs> of his life the rest of his yeah. life yeah. Uh, it wasn't the movie with Jeremy Sumter was it uh, no, no that, that was that was that's why that's why you were on Ned uh was it yeah yeah might have been yeah. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, he's like, oh wow. Like, I was just dude. like m mind blown that you were on like two sets at once. <laughs> I, That's like I the funny first time that, that I like. I, I have a funny story from that. But uh, so, yeah, we were on this like hill where we'd park at the golf course and then we'd go down to like a horse ranch. Um, it, it, the movie's about horses. So, uh, <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> yeah, we weren't just hanging out around. Uh, so, anyways, we take these golf carts down this hill. And every day, Zach and I were like racing the golf carts down the hill to the point where we ended. Zach actually flipped a golf cart like <laughs> down the hill aggressively, <laughs> and so then they just the golf course revoked the golf carts for the entire crew. Oh. So then everybody on the crew was like carrying stuff oh. down this hill oh, and back up the hill. Oh. Back oh. Up front. They Dang. were so mad at us. Oh, oh you yeah. guys. Oof. That's yeah. a good one. That is a good That's one. That's pretty solid. Also, yeah. funny story on that set. Uh, it was it was in Georgia, so we were kind of like surrounded by like backwoods, and mm. uh, we were in a really rural town. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> Zach was talking with one of the other cast members, Mike, and this random like hillbilly showed up out of the woods, and he tried to sell them a horse. <laughs> 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 and he's like, hey, and he had this like real thick, like, hey, y'all, man, I'm just trying to sell this horse now. And the audio guy recorded it because they were still wearing their mics. Oh, wow. And then at the end of the, the shoot, he gave out CDs of the recording of them having <laughs> oh, this conversation wow. with this guy because they just kept going with it. Like, yeah, we're by horse. Like, what do you got? Wow. <laughs> and so, like, it's like a 15 minute conversation with this, like, absolute, like, swamp hick. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Just coming through the backwoods. Yeah. Just hanging trying to make some, I got to get rid of this hey, horse. Man, trying to you make look some like money, you're man. looking to buy a horse. <laughs> <laughs> you got that looking at <laughs> You guys think you could be twinkle. a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, kid, come here. <laughs> Do you remember how much he was trying to sell the horse for? <laughs> Whoa. You know, what are the economics remember, yeah. of horse oh, sales? Horses, yeah, it, yeah. it was hard to understand oh, with the lack of teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's tough. That's yeah. tough, yeah. Um, oh, so Jeremy Sumter, yes. fun story. I'm just going to yeah, go on. Yeah. 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 So in the movie we did together, we we're LARPing, which is live action role playing, which is, if you've ever seen those videos of like dudes with the foam you know, weapons and they're dressed like fantasy characters and they're like, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Yeah. So uh, we did a movie about that, and my character in one of the scenes, 
uh, has like tapped him on the leg, so now he has to go down on one knee, and then he turns around at one point, and I get like a sucker swing on him. So we have these two big foam swords that I'm using that are like Final Fantasy, like giant big ass swords. And one of them is like a rigid sword for acting and talking, and the other one is a soft sword for stunts. Mm -hmm. And of course, we forgot to flip the swords out, mm -hmm. so I go, there's a close up of Jeremy, and I'm behind him, and I do this like spin move, like full giant, like wobos, and I just slap the shit out of the side of his face, and he's got this like bruise, like no, straight no, line from no. the pipe, from the PVC pipe that was inside oh, of it, no. and I just piped his ass. Oh, that sounds Damn, terrible. That's gonna get clipped. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've done it already. That's what we're gonna do. Coconut with. head pipes Jeremy Sumter. Damn. Coconut head pipes Peter Pan. And then we get, <laughs> we'll, we'll get the thumbnail like, ooh, did I do that? Oh, man. <laughs> Um, that's amazing. Yeah. So. Oh my I, I god. I piped up Jeremy Sumter. So what was I mean? What was your exact like reaction right right after that? Like, did he make a big deal out of it? Did I mean he took the hit like a like a champ? champ? Like, yeah, he really did. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will be honest. He, he was, was just like, you know, kind of cracking. All right, <laughs> we're, we're so, gonna keep it moving. So I did this Christmas movie a couple years back. This Netflix Christmas movie, Santa Girl. Check it out. Yeah, hey. Santa's, Santa's daughter, Jennifer. Jennifer Stone. Jennifer Stone. Nice. Wizards of Waverly oh, Place. Oh, she's awesome. That uh, is just one she, big. Pool. I know. She's actually yeah. who got me on that movie. But she plays like Santa's daughter who goes to college, and I'm oh. like the sweet. That's boy. That's actually real cute. It's, it's real cute. <laughs> and I, it's real cute, oh, and I'm like God. the nice boy, you know, the affable young man she falls with for. Um, but uh, <laughs> there's like the douchey guy too, right? Well, and that's more. Sh 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 uh, there's. <laughs> I'm telling wow. the story. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there's no. There's like the douchey guy that like is like with her, the Chad, right? Mm. And he's played by. Um, he's like a. He's a local actor out of Virginia. He's new, right? He hasn't been on a lot of sets. I love them. I um, love those. Those local and, Virginia. And, <laughs> and no, just to be clear, God bless this. This whole set. Like I was a little, this whole set was crewed by students. Mm. Oh, oh okay. the DP, the director, Jen Stone and me and Barry Bostwick oh. were people who had been on sets before. Everyone else, they didn't tell me this. The entire production and cast was then like crewed by like students and like local so they're people learning. who had never been on. They're learning. Yeah. Our sound guy was like a student and they'd get up in the middle of the shoot and be like, gotta go to class. I'm like, no, uh, no, what is happening? No. <laughs> okay, but so so that's the context for okay. for this. So him and I have a fight scene. Uh, the Chad guy and my character, we have a fight scene. Uh, they're shooting my, him punching me first, and I'm I'm like a little worried, right? Because yes. he's never done this before. I'm just like, I'm telling him, I'm like, hey, dude, <laughs> do not, not real, do face. not do not hit me, man. Like it's not like don't get this wrong. There's no margin for error. Like if you hit me, it's not a good day. I set. wonder where this story goes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't hit me, bro. I I was saying it. I was saying it out loud. I was kind of joking, but I kind of wasn't. I was like, <laughs> um, we know that your you jokes know, are you ninety know. percent the truth. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, anyway. I'm like, bud, don't hit me, okay? So I'm going on and okay. on and on about it. We film his part. He doesn't hit me. It's all nice. good. Oh, oh, oh no! no. Oh, wait a second. You guys up. can see where uh, this is Oh going. no. So after all that, then <laughs> we turn around. You think you're safe. And we get to my punch on him. No, and you do. Uh, and on the first one. <laughs> I miscalculate Square and I fucking face. punch him in the jaw, dude. Oh, oh my no. gosh! Like first take, full <laughs> swing, jaw. What the hit fuck? Hit this kid. Oh man! I felt so bad. And did he know you from Ned's? Yeah, that's even funny. Oh, he hates you. That's wait, 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 wait. What did he yeah. say? Was he yeah. so just like? You. <laughs> he handled it like a total champ, like, oh, like a gentleman, oh, like a gentleman, like a. Wow. And I felt so. We got to bring him on the show and have after, him punch. I mean, for <laughs> real. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh my after God, yes. all the shit I gave him, mm. and then oh, on my punch, like no. square in the jaw, didn't miss. <laughs> like, and so then wow. you have to stay in character because yeah, you yeah, only get one of those. Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, stayed in character. Yeah, yeah I stayed in. <laughs> Which is kind of even actually, funnier. Actually, I might not. Just I might have punched him and gone, oh, Yeah, fuck. just a death stare after you do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, Welcome to the doghouse, yeah. bitch. Ah. Welcome to Hollywood, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Yo, that's, yeah. that's messed up. Bro. I know, bro. I know. <laughs> that's that's it's cool, also yeah. hilarious. Have you, have you <laughs> ever had any do it on um, stunt fighting or physicality on set? Not like random, yeah, but never, never where I got careless. 
hard on that individual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only hurt myself like doing the worm and stuff. Oh right, oh. right, right. That's oh, that's dude. what his his um, scar oh, no, is. He has about. a scar. Yeah. I got a scar right now. Scar from, from Zeke and Luther doing the, the worm, worm on set. And on Nets? No, no, no. On, Zeke on and Luther. this show after. Dude, no way. Man. Yeah, and I, I refused. Bashing his face doing the worm. Yeah, I had to get like three, four stitches, man. While yeah. he was trying to be cocky and do a little. <laughs> was this yeah. on camera? Or this is on yes. camera. Yeah, they have it on camera. For so, a scene. That's so funny, bro. Yeah, it was, it was is it the take they used? And did no, blood just start squirting immediately? Oh, it was like more, more like a drip. It was more like a you got to get into your yeah. storage and see if you can find it for us. That I is will, just, I will look for it. I'll look Wait, for you, it. Ha- you have the episodes. It, it was he somewhere has the blood. The date. <laughs> <laughs> he has the blood. Yeah, yeah. He cut <laughs> in the vial. Um, so yeah. that is, I can't tell if that's like the coolest or lamest way to get <laughs> it's a, a one scar. One of the other. It's, it's right, yeah. right, leaning right. towards lame. But. Yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. I did the worm at my sixth grade graduation, and I didn't bust it. No, that's just not cool. Yes. Just, uh, that's really embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean. Did they clap for you though when you did it? No, nobody clapped. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Man, I was thinking about like things that just embarrass me now that I'm older, and I'm like, what the fuck was? Oh I dear thinking? God, that's half why I was bawling Wait, last you, night. You had like, you had like no shame. I mean, well, that's the funny On part Nets? about it. You had no shame. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what I mean. I've lived by that too. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny because like the character kind of is like a vessel to like just <laughs> yeah. be, un- be uninhibited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like in my personal life, I was like looking back at like I used to go to like work wearing like tank tops, and yeah. I'd be like in a business setting with like executives. <laughs> like I, at the product, this production company I worked at, I was like pretty tight with the boss, and like he was a pretty like high level individual who'd be making these like big <laughs> big time deals with like networks and shit and they'd be like suited up every day and he'd call me as like I, I want to get your opinion on things like in ear to the, like the young people right oh, no. so he would always like bring me in and I and I was so confident with myself I was just like whatever man like I'm just you know why, why do I gotta wear sleeves you know and so mm. I would show up with like not even just tank tops, baggy tank tops. Oh, oh like wow. like nipple meeting, popping up. Just yeah, in a meeting, yeah. in a meeting with like the owner of like Planet Hollywood Hotel in in Dude. like Caesar's Palace, you know, like that kind of shit. Like people that are made of a lot of money that right. go to like a lot of high level deals, and I'm like sitting there just like, I don't know, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> like right. just like chilling way too hard, and I look yeah. back on that like, oh my god. What was oh I thinking? Yeah, he, there's a tip for the listeners for your yeah. adult life. Um, dress appropriately to your business setting. I can yeah. totally resonate with that. Oh. It's that, nice dude. to be comfortable, nice, but yeah. like I, I admire my own my confidence. <laughs> yeah, I admire my confidence at no, the time, but I, yeah, geez. you're just like you can go so wait up. maybe a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I used to walk to Seven Eleven, which was like half a block up the street, so like a little like a little ways, and um, in my pretty little liar's robe. In my room <laughs> that I got his swag and nothing fucking under that with my dogs, right? The just advertising fucking robe yourself. lady and yeah. just like buying candy and snacks and shit and a, a copious amount and then walking back and I was like, what sort of like weird attention? Like what? Yeah, weird attention They're seeking. Weird attention, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. It's weird attention. Yeah. The you really don't want to go like, moment. is that all? Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, you're... Bush is hanging out. Right? No, I, 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 Do you I, want me to I, hand it to the bush? Right? <laughs> Should I? Nope, nope, nope. Give it, give it to me. Same. I handle the same funds. Th- now say thank you. I say thank you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I have a surprise for all of us. Hey. Okay? Oh, no. Listeners, you're just going to have to enjoy this uh, verbally, but uh, oh, watchers. I, oh, no. Um, <laughs> I think I know what this listen, is. Listen, so... <laughs> I asked Rob to bring something, and he didn't have I it. I didn't have it. It's I, in storage, I own right? It. I own Rob it. Rob has I don't what have you it. think he has, but you don't have it on you. It's Correct. in a storage unit Correct. somewhere. Correct. So I thought <laughs> it would be fun. Oh, man. I hope this, is, this looks as good as I'm hoping. <laughs> Go on and grab one. <laughs> one? Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Then I... Okay. Reach in and grab oh, one, yeah. Yenzi. Oh, 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 we oh. all have some? Reach in. Oh, you got to <laughs> reach oh, in got, and grab oh, one for oh, you, Dan. You got oh, to denetify yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, let's go, baby. You no got to denet. No way. <laughs> let's go. Listen, okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta listen they're not going to be perfect, but I just thought right. we could do the rest of this interview. <laughs> oh, yeah. Correct. Ooh, this is kind of cute. I got dude, like I, little bangs. Do I have the better one? Do I, should I give him this one? I think he should have this. No, one. You got the tiny. No, that's you tiny. Like, have okay, the tiny okay, one. Yeah. They're all perfect. <laughs> They're all perfect. <laughs> Lindsay got the blonde one. <laughs> yeah. You got, you got the so Seth Myers. I just thought <laughs> we guys, could do. I am Kate Gosling. 
<laughs> oh, there's a net on it you can take off. Oh, there's a net on it? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. why it's so tiny. Net? Yeah, yeah, you're being... Oh, you're being <laughs> well, anyway, that one's tiny anyway. Or maybe you're like the lunch oh, lady. Listen, I ordered all different ones. Oh, yeah, there's like a net on it. Oh, you can take I don't off. even know. How do I, how do I look in this? Hold so on. You I look, get my head you look, <laughs> you look fucking beautiful, Rob. Oh, there's a net. Oh, oh. So like for the little, listeners, yeah. I, I ordered a bunch of different wigs that are close enough to Coco wigs. <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted the OG one, but it's right. locked in a vault in, at the yes. beneath the Smithsonian. Exactly. Oh, um, oh. Wow. So so fun. You kind of alluded to it. Uh, I did steal the wig af- at the end of production. They told me I could not have it, and I. Said, <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. You can have it. You can have <laughs> you it. Wink and stole that. Dude, I'm, I'm yeah. so glad you did that. That is your wig. No oh, one. Yeah. No, no, yeah, like, why would sure. anybody ever? No need one that gets wig. to keep that except no. for you. Oh so I'm God. so glad Seven, you have I it. Can't. You're, you're such a little Dutch boy. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> says the blonde. <laughs> says the uh, little blonde boy. <laughs> You look you like, like a I member actually of think ABBA. I understand why Brendan the Liars wanted to do this to me. I look boy. I, I look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> I was going to say, you look kind of cool, man. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> looks like the fun aunt who works at a hair salon. <laughs> <laughs> we in here. Honey, we're going to do you right. <laughs> honey, we're going to do you right. What, what do you want today, honey? Oh. Mm. I feel like you look like the member of like a 60s like rock No, you band, totally like the monkeys like, or Totally you. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And, and, hey, 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 this Rob, is, it's honestly, called music, you look like John. you could live in Venice. <laughs> like, <laughs> it. Right? You live in... I th- this is what Coconut Head's been up to since. You right? Know? Yeah. Nice. Got a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah you, got you know, some length on it. It, it sits different now. He got <laughs> laid, finally. Love you know. that. Right. Yeah, dude, when do you think Coconut Head finally got laid, man? T- not gonna lie, I think he was getting laid the entire time. <laughs> oh! Hey. Yeah. Wait, are we talking about Rob or Coconut? Coconut. 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 Yeah, the Coconut. child. <laughs> the child. <laughs> when, when did Rob first get his soil, his uh, royalties? Uh, it was 19, I think, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, 19. fun James, fact. You're all up in there. So, fun fact, I have... All up in there. <laughs> okay. This guy. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Fun fact, I took a picture. <laughs> I took a picture right after the first time I had sex and, oh. and posted it to my Facebook with no context. And it's just my little Easter egg to myself. <laughs> nice. yeah. So one of my photos on my on my Every Facebook. Every now and then profile, Facebook's giving you a memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what it wow. is. Like, I took this photo and I look so happy in the photo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a great day. But really yeah. sweet. Congrats. how long did the good times last? Uh, about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> about 30 seconds. That's good. In the back of a Prius. <laughs> nice. You lost so your virginity in the back of a Prius? Prius. Surprisingly roomy vehicle. Wow. wow. Yeah, very roomy. Got that big yeah. nut. God bless, man. Pro, pro tip if you're you know, trying yeah. to hook up. Yeah. Prius. Find, find a Prius owner. Yeah. Prius. Yeah. Yeah. Great gas mileage. Yeah. Very roomy. I actually <laughs> yes. rode here in a Prius today. Prius. Nice. Oh, nice. well. Small sounds world. like you're doing some action. Small world. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys know the story of how the wig thing became the wig? Please no. regale us. Okay, so when I auditioned for the show, pineapple. Uh, it well, it was supposed to be like a soft or like you know, kind of the hairy outside of a coconut. Oh. was the original intent of the haircut. I thought it was pineapple head. Originally, wasn't the guy well, originally pineapple no, no, no. head? Okay, no, no, no. no in for the pilot, the, on the right? pilot yeah. he was called coconut head, but his hair actually didn't resemble oh, a coconut. Like a it looked like the top of a pineapple, pineapple. but we you. called him coconut head. Oh. Made no sense. Was not effective. You Recast. It's trivia. Yeah. I remember this. I remember. I mean, Recast to Rob. <laughs> oh. Wait, yeah. so you're saying the haircut was supposed to look like the hairy outside of a pine- so not a bowl? It was supposed to just look Yeah, so they basically, frazzly? when you auditioned for the role, there was like a disclaimer like, you have to be willing to shave your hair off because <laughs> we're going to shave your head and make it like awkward and rough like the outside of a coconut, like that hairy kind of weirdness. What? Wow. So I was like, uh, you know, a newcomer to acting. And I'll was, do anything. Yeah, I was just trying to do whatever I could. So I was like, uh, yes, anything. I'll just do it. This is Nickelodeon. Like, I fucking love Nickelodeon. Like, yes. So I agreed to it, and I'm on set. I'm nervous as all shit. I don't want to say anything because I'm so afraid that, like, I'm going to step on somebody's toes, and then, you know, you can't be in the industry or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah uh, totally. So I was like, big fear. just yes, 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 quiet, sitting in the chair. They've literally got the clippers turned on, like, this far from my head in that downstairs makeup room. Remember you come yeah. downstairs, right there? Yeah. Dude, uh, and uh, no. man, what was her, uh, the woman's name with the blonde hair? KJ. K- uh, yeah, KJ. KJ. Uh, yeah. So she was gonna cut my hair, and it, literally Scott Fellows comes like running in, and he's <gasps> like, "Hold on." Yeah, yeah, like I'm talking this close to my head. Yeah. And I had this long, beautiful blonde hair, similar he, to what Lindsay's yeah. rocking right now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was like, "No, oh my no, gosh, no, no, hold on. Can we do? Can we do anything other than shave this kid's head? Because I feel really bad." 
Uh-huh. Gotta love Scott Fellows. Yeah. yeah. What a great guy. Right? Yeah. Uh, so she was like, well, I could maybe figure something out. And she pulled out this like woman's wig with long oh. hair. She's like, well, maybe I could kind of tie it up and, you know, just snip snip. And that's how the wig happened. Wow. Yeah. I never knew this. Like, full Ever. on dodging bullets. Yeah, you like, were no. about to. Yeah. Wow. Also, that is so extreme also, for them to take <laughs> off your hair and not consider. And, yeah, and, yeah. And also, whatever they were going to do is the bob is it. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. bull, so yeah. The bull yeah. bob is iconic. Yeah. Not that to mention. Been so different. Not to mention, yeah. I was only supposed to be in the one episode for one line. Oh, we love that. Amazing. Right? What, so you were willing to do that for that one line. line. I don't even think I, well, I don't think I actually said anything. Yeah, it, no, because the yeah. first episode is just oh, like, just hey, hallway. don't get a new haircut. Yeah. Don't and have then, your mom And then cut. Kyle, oh. Bully Loomer, Hey, look, says, it's like, Coconut Head. Yeah. And then he, yeah. So you were only supposed to do that episode? Yeah. So wow. your He's your totally little fun, so. cry and run away was so funny. Fucking enjoyable. Oh my god. They were gosh, like, right. this boy gonna be around forever. Yeah. Like, god, this dude. kid's a fucking oh. loser. <laughs> no, oh, oh my dude, god. Keep dude, this. Re- re- <laughs> rewatching, it, it's reminded me why you're the most requested guest. Like, yeah. anytime you pop up, I'm laughing out loud <laughs> now at 32. Yeah. That's like, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. The the line that really brought back so many memories from the first season was uh, in the tryouts episode. <laughs> is you coming up and going, "I didn't make it," <laughs> and then you cry on Lindsay's shoulder. I, I didn't make it. That was the first time that I was like, "You're gonna be fired for your unprofessionalism." Like uh, I we couldn't, couldn't get through it. Yeah. I wanted to so bad. Everybody was getting past that point where they thought it was funny, and I was like, "It's." Still, still like <laughs> it's <laughs> killing me. Well, Cause still. you go, I didn't make it, and then we try and give you a pep talk, and you're like, and I had never shoulder. seen it. Like I just, I, yeah, I, you guys, I see several times when I laugh. I love that though. Yeah. I hate that. No, you're wrong. Listen, Jerry Seinfeld yeah. is my least favorite part of Seinfeld. I know, but like even in Always Sunny, there are there are certain little clips where you see them about to break and it's in the show and it's fun. It's yeah. fun because you see the fun that's yeah. being had, you know? Yeah. But I know as an actor, you're like, me. <laughs> you I'm unprofessional. Yeah. I, uh, Don't believe it. You're I, not in the scene. I used to be on Punked and I think one oh, of the yeah. 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 to talk I about that was I incredible. About yeah. that. Yeah. So <laughs> one of the episodes, there was a, a bit that never went to air and I think it was because I was laughing. Oh, Dude. No. okay, yeah. for the listeners, for the watchers, I forgot about this. Rob yeah. was one of the prankster cast members Original on OG. Punked with Ashton Kutcher because Rob could play like a 14 year old when you were like 20. Yeah, yeah, so another fun fact, there's a lot of fun facts happening yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, I was 16 the day I booked, or the day of my 16th birthday was the day I booked Ned's. We shot that for three years, so I was 19 by the time we finished that. And I think when I was 18, I booked Punked. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I was much older than, you know, the age I was portraying. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and you were were the oldest cast member of the kids on set. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. Rob, people don't know, but, like, yeah, you were three years older than me or something, three or four. Like, so you were older than all of us. Um, But so (laughs) Punked. Deep breath. How was your your (laughs) Punked experience? Because I remember... I came and got to hang out like in the punk you did. control booth yeah. while you punked Zach Braff, I think. You were there for that one? Yes. Oh my. Where he like yeah, he kinda off. yelled in your face. Oh, he did more than yell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he wanna, like grabbed you. I don't want to get him shit. in trouble, but yes. He, <laughs> Man. He swung at me and, no. and tried to hit me, but thanks to my large coat, it caught in the coat and yeah, it did not hit hey. me. Ooh, yeah. Another. Wait, so another granted, I gave tip, him all the permission out. to do so because I was fucking with him so hard. Yeah. Rob was yeah. spray painting his Porsche and then just like being yeah. a dick about it. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, well, Which one didn't air? Uh, it was with JoJo. Remember the singer JoJo, oh. who was on the pilot yes. of Neds. This is yes. crazy. Yeah, world. she played Lisa Zemo in the pilot. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, JoJo, the singer. Get out. Oh, oh yeah, we know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know her. Oh, do you have a picture of her? Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh. I, <laughs> no. I have a shrine of her. <laughs> it's exactly. not just a picture. Um, no, but uh, I booked that show. The that show was so crazy because it was like secret agent activity, right? Like yeah. I was called. I got the audition at like 9 p.m. one night to audition for Punked, and then they called me back at like 11 p.m. and were like, "Can you be here at 4 a.m.?" Oh. Yeah, it was like that fast. Whoa. And then wow. you're there for like 10 hours ahead of time because they don't know if people are going to show up early and they're oh, setting up all the hidden cameras wow. and stuff. So you get there, I got there at 4 a.m., but you know, we weren't 
actually doing anything until like 10 a.m. Um, wow. And it was the first episode was uh, an episode with Serena Williams where I steal this car in front of her. Yep. And fun fact about that, I didn't have my driver's license at the time. Um, so they, I had a, like a learner's permit because my whole thing was like, I'm not going to drive my parents' asses around because I know what this, this is a, a you know, a, a sly thing to like get me to drive them around yeah, for this three years. Into, yeah. I just want to drive myself around. So I'm going to wait till I'm 18 and then go straight to driving myself around. <laughs> so I didn't get a driver's license for a long time. Um, so the producer had to lay in the back of this vehicle that I stole because I couldn't drive without an adult. So I drive away from Serena Williams. She sees me drive off. That's the gag. It's like, oh, this kid stole a car. I drive around the corner so the producer can hop in the driver's seat and take us to location B where this whole thing is going to end. Serena Williams is like a superwoman. And she gets in the fucking driver's seat and just starts chasing me. <laughs> so she's like, I'm going to save this kid. So she's actually like, God bless her. She's an amazing person. Uh, she chases us and catches up to us like three blocks later at a light. And she pulls up next to us. And I'm sitting now in the driver's seat with this strange man. <laughs> and she and so Ashton's in my ear like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Because they're in like a chase car that has like all the setup. Yeah. And so he's talking to me in my ear. He's like, make something up, make something up. So I'm like, uh, uh, I, this is my special friend, and we're we're going away together. We've been meeting on weekends, and he said he was gonna take me away, and all this stuff, right? And she's like, oh babe. my god, and she's in the she's like the red light, like baby, don't do it, like she's like just like, oh no. Oh, and so he, the the producer is like, I'm, this is it, like we spent so much money, like fuck, fuck, he's freaking out. So he just starts peeling out down Ventura at like eighty. <clears throat> Like 80 miles an hour, like, boom, 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 like an action what? movie. And I'm like, I'm going to die today. Like, oh, I'm in the no. passenger seat. And Serena is chasing us the whole way. Like, we literally go She's through, like, like back alleys behind. You know how sometimes, like, buildings will all be connected yeah, by the yeah. alley paralleling totally. the street? So he literally, like, dips in, in the alley, and we're, like, hitting boxes, like an action movie. Shit. He somehow evades her after, like, six miles of driving. Like, no! I'm not kidding. Like, it was so absurd. And she eventually catches up and we do the bit. But when you see it on air, which you can find on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, it's completely cut out. It's oh. I drive the car away and then she gets to the end and there it is. Wow. But none they of cut that, out the fact that. that put it, yeah, yeah, they cut yeah. out all of the that. The fact that there's a chase scene through yeah, LA. Dude, and the fact that you didn't have a license time. when you took the car. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was wow. absolutely insane. Yeah. Dang it. Oh, oh wow. my God. That's yeah. wild. How long did you work on that? I, I was, uh, it was a short period of time because once you get recognizable, it's kind ah, of kills yeah. it. You know? Yeah, um, yeah so they need I did, people that can't be recognized. Yeah, I did like five bits. Yeah. And I think that turned into like four episodes. Yeah. So yeah. whenever so I drive cool. past the liquor store that you did the Zach Braff one, <laughs> like I remember it. It's yeah. on Somehow Sunset, I right? can't, yeah, yeah. Sunset uh, near the Rock and Ralphs, like Sunset <laughs> yeah. La Brea. Oh, yeah. Um, I love yeah. that Rock and Ralphs. But yeah, I, <laughs> like I came and watched his, <laughs> yeah. so his Zach Braff business, Zach. which was super intense. Um, yeah. Did you work with uh, Dak Shepard too? I did not. That was the season before me, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But Ryan Pinkston was on the first yeah, season. Yeah, that's what, yeah, uh -huh. that's right. We didn't really know each other. Pinkston, We're like so very distantly Pinkston. related, like way back. Like, yeah. Like when the boat came over to America, they went north, we went south. Okay. Wow. Um, so. Just got those punk jeans. Just got those punky jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you remember Shaky Face? He was the one who put us up on Shaky Face. Oh, and you guys shaky made that face. shirt for me. Oh, I remember yeah. man, I that. I love Shaky yeah. Face. Freddie, you guys, you want to do it? Uh, sure. I mean, it doesn't Which work without a camera. Unless we take oh, no, like we a still. Yeah, we can yeah. freeze frame. Should we all look there doesn't, and do the yeah. shaky face? Yeah. Three, three, three two, two, one. one. Oh. <laughs> 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 Whoa! My Whoa. brain works different now. She's shedding. <laughs> it used to not hurt my brain, Wait. but now it does. Oh, that really does. Oh, do you know about 35. the. Oh, God. That hurts. I'm um, oh. <laughs> so sorry. I don't even. This is so funny. thoughts right out my head. I want to trade? <laughs> you read <reach> your... <laughs> yeah, Want to trade? Yeah, yeah, Did yeah, I, yeah, wait, is it, is it bad? It's oh, okay, okay. I feel like I just oh. naturally fit wigs now. Yeah, yeah, you know, kind of, you know yeah. how to do them. Yeah, I feel like my skull kind of like bent. So do you, re like, one of my favorite things that I recall is like just the pinky <laughs> scream. <laughs> it wasn't really a scream. It was more like a guttural, like, like a pig noise. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you, Lindsay. Hey, this Thank might you, be Lindsay. a look, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah? I, I feel like you could definitely be in like a Swedish rock group. Yeah, oh like, yeah, like, yeah. show <laughs> definitely. Yeah, come to Berlin. Um, we have good times. I, when, for part of the Valorant like video game tournament stuff, we went to Iceland a few times, and the first time we went, there was this like actively erupting volcano. Which was act, like the coolest thing ever. We hiked up this hill and we we're watching this volcano in person. It was so sick and exploding into the air like wow. crazy. But uh, Iceland was in the Eurovision Song Contest at the time. Yeah. And 
like everyone in Iceland is so friendly, but they're all like very weird. And uh, <laughs> we would all be on this hillside watching this volcano and it go and like shoot into the sky. And then every time that would like finish and the noise would stop, this one guy would just play the Eurovision song from Iceland, just like oh. over his head, like say anything. <laughs> and he'd just sit there and just play it, the same song. And we were there for like six hours and he just played one song the entire time. <laughs> Just like representing like to the volcano, like yeah, we, we support you. <laughs> wow, yeah, great. So I kind of love these people. That's You're great, but he kind of looked like you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it feels right. I can't see how I look, but I feel how I look. <laughs> I get that vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, look you in the look like Seth Powers. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little Seth Powers, oh, right? Powers. I said Myers. Take, take okay. him Powers. down this is year, cookie. cookie. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do. Dude, uh, did you guys ever talk about Lil Nas X being Seth for yes. uh, Halloween? Yeah, How crazy! How that was crazy so cool. Was that? Yeah, that was what so a, cool. What a niche outfit, dude! Yeah. What a niche Halloween costume. <laughs> I respect that. I loved it majorly. Yeah. I remember yeah. Yeah. when um, I went as Coconut Head. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. And Carly went. Carly as went as Ned. Ned. So uh. Missy Meany <laughs> went as Ned, and Lindsay went as Coconut Head yep. to uh, uh, like a yep. set Halloween party. I, I remember that. that. I, like I that. wore boxers. I. Stuffed my pants with the coconut, <laughs> and I got the wig. I was like so proud of myself. I feel like the two of you are kind of like the mirrors of the two of us in a weird way. I know. I, ca I, I can see that. that. Yeah, I could absolutely see. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, we were we were all very close. We were all very close. We we're all very a incestuous. Yeah, yeah. 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 way. Yeah, yeah. we're all very incestuous. <laughs> Those sleepovers at Kyle's. I just remember I slipped over once, and I was like, "Why would I ever be sleeping over at Kyle's?" <laughs> well, there'd be like thirty people. Yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. a lot of us. Yeah, right. Like, Let's but go like swimming. group sleepovers. Are yeah, like weird. <laughs> Movie theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was very little. You guys are either touching each other or somebody else, so it's <laughs> different. I went only a couple times. Leave that over there with Man, do oh. you ever um, get like dressed up for sets or anything, or go crazy, or? Um, I do. Well, yeah, like I definitely like for Pinky as like a. I, I see Pinky as more like a character, yeah, like than uh, than necessarily like me on stage, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, the, the yeah, DJ. yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like try alter and, ego. Yeah, so I see Pinky as kind of like this like embodiment of like a party vibe. Mm -hmm. So I try and kind of dress the part because I feel like, especially as a DJ, there's not much like you're doing on stage that's like yeah. visually interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously yeah. you're doing things, but people can't it tell doesn't look, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not like playing, it's not the same as drumming or yeah. shredding a guitar, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. so I feel like as the DJ, you're kind of the, people are looking at you to be like, I'm gonna reflect your vibe. If mm -hmm. you're having a great time, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a great time. You're kind of the yeah. cheerleader for everybody. So nice. I try and like, you know, take it up a notch and and give people that energy. Hell yeah! Let's whip out these tips. I, real, Whoa. real, real, real <laughs> quick. That's why I was you gotta, like, you gotta, gotta be like, oh. took a second. You, you gotta get better at segues, my guy. Um, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. get right into it. Daniel is aggressive. Wow. No, before we before wow. we do, um, uh, over the years, I have seen many fans send me photos of them dressed up as coconut oh, head yeah, for yeah, Halloween. For sure. oh, yeah. So yeah, I want to request, uh. Any of the fans out there who have those oh, photos, please. send oh, yes. them our please way. Send them. Tag uh, tag Ned's Pod in the and in the Pinky story mm -hmm. and tag Pinky Pinkston because I've seen those over the years. Like I remember, like people yeah. every now and then are like, "Look, my friend was coconut head for Halloween," and it always makes me laugh. Dude, so every good. Halloween I get a ton of these, like uh, on Instagram specifically because I'm most active on there. Yeah, uh, yeah. like. Like entire sororities will dress up. It'll be like forty girls, like, oh, like, and it's I like the craziest thing ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. So my! Fun. Does God. it feel good to have played such an iconic a legend character? Yeah. yeah. It's funny because like I definitely didn't ex see that in myself at the time, but like, and I still don't really see it in myself. But yeah, yeah. I, knowing that like it organically became a meme. Mm. Yeah, my favorite thing because yeah. I'm like such an internet yeah. addicted person. Yeah, totally. That like knowing that I, I didn't force it. Yeah. People just kind of. Yeah. Dude, you yep. you were a meme before memes existed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Like, yeah. literally like you were a and meme. And then you yeah. jumped on that social media platform and ran. Your little coconut yeah, right. legs just ran, 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 ran. Booty right off. So good. Um, <laughs> okay. So at the Would you at, DJ an event for us as Coconut Head? If we do like yeah, a podcast Hell yeah. Live? Oh yo. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we might, yeah, we might, we might yep. do like live yep. podcast yep. shows, you know, around. So oh, yeah, dude, dude. Hell yeah. yeah, we do Coco a live DJ, event. right? 
Yeah. Easy. Ooh, Easy. We love I'm in love I with love the coco. Oh, hey. um, I love to play very derpy music too, like just to kind of throw people off. So yeah. It'd be fun to kind of get like a derp set. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, maybe not that derpy, like still fun yeah. music. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 Um, so I'm just the, saying, yeah. 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 So yeah. at the end, derps, the wig is taking derps, over. Derps, yeah. no, I, I know. I have to pick my kids up in 20. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> You've just fallen apart. I just fall, yeah. <laughs> so at the end of our episodes, we try and... Um, Whip out some We tips. try and, based on <laughs> any of the things we've talked about, we try and summarize each of us with one tip for the, the audience at home uh, about okay. any of the things we've talked about. Okay. So do you have a tip for... Uh, <sighs> the listeners? I mean, I'm kind of riffing right on the spot. Yeah, that's, that's uh, how we do it here. Okay. Uh, it does it have to be related to things we already talked about, or just or thing on, anything, on the mind? anything you want. Yeah, whatever you. <laughs> okay, anything you want. <laughs> um, Choose your own adventure. I will say this: coming here, I was really nervous. Mm. I was like incredibly nervous because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna say. You know, I haven't seen you guys in forever, and so like it's you know kind of breaking the ice and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, totally. And that's something that I I often encounter in my personal life is like I'm a pretty anxious individual. Mm. So I I definitely, you know, deal with nervousness as a thing, even going on stage, right? Like every show I've ever played, I thought like I'm going to die before I go on the <laughs> stage. And mm. then I go on the stage and then it's, oh, you're on the other side of it now and it's amazing, right? Yeah. So I feel like if there's any advice I can give to another person, it's that like that anxious energy that you have within you, like – know that that is something that is natural, mm -hmm. but also is something that uh, you can kind of be friends with. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to be something that is like this horrible thing and every time it shows up, it's like, it's back and the fear and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. cool. Every time you've ever addressed something that you're nervous about, it, you come out on the other side feeling so much better. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. I, I would say really well really well said. Said. Yeah. I'm having a great time right yeah. now, and Nailed I was nervous before this. And just this, this whole interview reminds me of this like video I watched where it was like, good friends are not the people that you're in constant contact with. It's the people that you really just pick back up with, where no. you yes. start. And I felt that with each and every one of you. And yeah, this is it's so exactly the same with like you, awesome dude. To it's be so on simple, you right? Again, like, you feel yeah. you really feel like you're regressing, but not in a negative way. Like, yeah, you know, it's, it's I, nice. I for sure had more nerves the. First day we were doing this yeah. back. Yeah, yeah definitely. Just definitely. Like yeah. Not, I, we yeah. haven't really hung out a lot. Like, yeah. what's the podcast gonna be? What's it gonna be like talking about Ned's? Like, all of that. And then we got here and it was just like, and I was like, tight, we're back. Great. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> um, do you guys have a, a tip? Yeah. Uh, My, yeah, mine was just that. Um, you like those good friends, like um, yeah. Th I don't know. Those are your people. Sometimes friends can be needy. I've just kind of like discovered what that is. Um, and you know, you need to check in with them all the time. But people that you can just ride with, you know, and yep. know that that connection was pure and based on something really lovely. I love it. Yes. I mean, I, I think with Kyle, that's kind of the situation, right? We don't see him Dude, very frequently. Didn't see him yeah. for five yeah. years. Yeah. And when he was when I was hanging with him, I'm like, oh, that like that's my like that's my bro. Like yeah, I, like. Friend, that yep. is friend for life. Yep. Like I know Kyle forever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. It's what you got, deal. Dandy? My tip would be, guys, you are cool with or without the wig, just like this man right here, Robbie hey. Pinkston. Right? Wow. Wow. Behind those filters. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Aww. But an addendum to that. Wait. My tip is wigs are really fun. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Fun. And is there a coconut head filter? There should be. There wigs. should there be. Totally should be. There right? should That's be. An easy Who one. makes filters? Um, my <laughs> my addendum there? to my tip is I I crashed a neighbor's party once. My neighbors sounded like they were having a good time. Me and my roommate, we were like, let's go over there. Their Fair party. Point. Here's a very simple theme to make a party really fun. It was just a wig party. That's it. So they had a oh, ton of a wigs there. It's such a simple way to just take it up from just normal party to a little bit silly fun time. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone was a little more free because yeah. they're like, here, you got to put on a wig. Like, well, first of all, we crashed and we hadn't met them. And they're like, welcome, you're our neighbors, put, put on, on a wig. wig. Yeah. And then everyone's in a wig and it just opens up the space a lot more. So really fun, simple theme for a party, a wig party. Buy a nice. bunch of cheap wigs, nice. give them out. Love that. That is a great idea. This was our wig party. This was our oh, wig party. Wig party. And do you see how silly fun time it was? Silly fun time. Silly Wait, fun do we, time. Do, we, do, we do, the have names? do we have names now? 
like we with these names. wigs. Wait, you guys, Bubba. I feel I like we've become myself. new people with these wigs. Well, you're. Do I have to? You're still so coconut. Coconut. That's fine. Sorry, bud. Coconut That's fine. Head. Sorry, bud. That's fine. <laughs> um, it has man. been a, just an absolute blast. Aunt, aunt I've got to go that's, get that's my aunt, bangs trimmed. Yeah. <laughs> that's Aunt Barb. Barbara. Uh, yeah, Aunt Barb. <laughs> Barb for Barb. yeah, definitely. That's a Barb. Barb. Hundred. Yeah. Yep. Hundred. Hundred. I'm kind of seeing Keith. It's Keith. It's Keith. And <laughs> oh, you're definitely like a yawn. It's Kithy. Yeah, yawn. It's yeah. actually Kithy. Yeah. It's Kithy. Oh, Kithy. 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 Yeah. Kithy. They couldn't tell what gender you were when you were born. They're like Kithy. Kithy. It's kind Kithy. of old. We'll yeah. Out well, yeah. It can sort itself out. <laughs> and um, oh my God. You are just. That's Coco. Coconut. Yeah, I mean, nice. come yeah. on, come yeah. on. It's, yeah. It looks so good in like, like you just yeah, came. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 Why did we ever, we should have done that on the show. It's like, so yeah. Anyway, um, we, we love, love you, you Rob. Oh, I love um, you guys. We love, love you so you. much, <laughs> So good to see you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for being Coconut here. Head. Of course, of course. Start up. We out of here. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ned's Classified Podcast Survival Guide. To check out clips from this episode, go check out Podco's YouTube channel. And for more weekly bonus content, come on and join our Patreon. There's plenty of room here. Thanks so much, and see you guys next week.